welcome to my channel you got me in stitches I'm Anna and welcome to any new subscribers that have recently subscribed thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoy my content what I have currently and for the future okay so on today's video I'm going to talk through with you guys about the wonderful evening that I had with other sewists and that was the dressmakers ball 2019 so if that's something that you're interested in then come with me and i will talk through my dress and of the evening itself so what i do i start off with what i'm wearing so i have it's just a really really warm day today and it's currently sunday so I'm filming this today and then it will go up later today so this lovely lace that I got from, I believe it was Pivot Clan in UK and I'll try to remember to link those guys and I got this idea from the lovely Tanya from Don't Dream It, Sew It. She has a vlogging channel so again I will link her below. Yeah, so you guys would have already seen this who follow me and this I got a little bit of a bell shape just for the long sleeve and that idea came from the lovely Debbie from Saturday Sewing. Again, I will link her vlogging channel in the description for you. So yeah, and it's just really comfortable and something just to put on. And like I said, it's so warm today. And I thought, yeah, it's nice and summery, even though it's spring, but you know. Okay, so I will now talk about the Dressmaker's Bar. That's what you've been waiting to hear about. So the lovely Sarah and Freya from the Crafty So and So and it's So S E W and S O. Again I will link them below. So they have organised two dressmakers bar, one for 2019 and the year before last. So there wasn't one last year. I did not go to the one in 2017 too scared. I was too scared this time, but as you will see, I went with the lovely, lovely Gemma from A Girl So Geeky. I'll talk about that in a moment. So yes, Sarah and Freya are the organisers behind the Dressmakers Bar, which is in the City Rooms in Leicester in the UK, for those of you who don't live in the UK. And yeah, so Gemma and I had organised to meet somewhere and then we would go to the ball together so we did a little bit of traveling and then arrived in Leicester and at the B&B &B and yeah quite a few people had the same idea of sharing the B&B &B, so we caught up with a few people and again you'll see from primarily photographs near the end there's a little bit of film footage um, not too much but again I'll link everybody's channels who is included in my video and then you can check their channels out so absolutely wonderful really wonderful evening even though my anxiety was just like it skyrocketed it was just yeah um, everybody's dresses outfits there was a few guys there as well absolutely incredible really wonderful evening and it just flew by it was from 1900 hours Originally, I saw it written down until 1am, but we were starting to sort of leave around midnight, 12.30am. Yeah, so, but it was a really, really lovely evening, and I cannot thank Sarah and Freya enough, and again, they look absolutely stunning. And I think on Instagram, there is, I don't know if it's a hashtag that you follow, and you can see all the photographs and everything, but again, that will probably be linked in... The, on the website of the Crafty So and So. So again, you'll find it all on there and more information, everybody's photos. I'm sure there's bloggers out there that have written about it. So yeah, and again, I think most people's channels who have been to the Dressmakers Bar have, I mean, I've watched a, a few so far. And again, you can check them out if you haven't already done so. So yeah, mine's gone up kind of almost a week later because it was on Friday the 22nd, then I stayed over a night and then travel back on a Saturday and it's now currently Sunday so oh, actually over a week <laughs> so I think the sun's got to me just not used to it and yesterday oh, I just had the foulest headache just I got a little bit of sunstroke yesterday yeah so 
what I'm going to do, I'll talk through, I know you've seen my journey with the dress and everything, but some of the finishes and everything I didn't show you in that video. So I won't go too much into it, but I'll just show you in on closer, I'll take the um, camera over to the mannequin and show you some of the closer stitching and then I'll flip it inside out so you can see the interior. Again, pretty straightforward. I've never ever made a dress stroke gown like this before so not too bad it, 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 it's far from perfect and yeah the fabric yeah cut on the bias working with slippery drapey fabric what more could you possibly want to do so but to be fair it actually stitched beautifully it was just some of the techniques I was using that I've never used before like the lap zipper I've never done a lap zipper and I wanted my stitches hidden actually helen from stitch my style she had recently done a video again i'll link her channel below and that was me thinking oh yeah you know i want to do these <laughs> hidden stitches but i think it's actually the thing to do on the lap zipper you you do hide the stitches so they're not on the outside but again if you'd like to you can go over to her channel and see her beautiful dress as well dresses because she's done a few videos recently and I think one of the dresses that she did wear to the dressmaker's ball. Yeah, I, I saw her. I was standing in line waiting for the food. Not wait, it was there. I mean, waiting. So I, it was all, you could help yourself and everything. Uh, like a, um, all sort of displayed. I think I've got some photos. I don't know. So on the table in the middle. So all the food was laid out. And yeah, different cho choices of food. I'll get to that in a moment. And yeah, it was just really, really lovely. I was too scared to go up and say hi to Helen, actually, to be fair. I wanted to. I've been wanting to meet her for a whole bunch of time. I met the beautiful Abby from the Crafty Pin Up. And again, I will link her channel below. I didn't get any photographs together with her. And Charlotte from English Girl at Home, I met her. But again, didn't get any photographs I could kick myself now it's just but again I do have quite a lot of photographs of everybody that I managed to meet and it's just like you sort of meet people for the first time and it's sort of like can I have a photograph and it's like put a camera in their face yeah I mean I, I, I don't like that because I shy away from things but you kind of got to capture that moment you know it's happy memories building memories and things and yeah so Okay, so I will talk through the dress and just show you the interiors and outside a little bit closer and then I'll flip the camera back around to me and chatter a little bit more about the ball before ending the video with some of the footage and stills. Okay, so we will start off with the top and I did a holder style top and gentle sweetheart neckline. The bodice is boned, so we just gradually come down here and a couple of open darts that I wanted to put on there just to add a little bit of, I don't know, a feature if you prefer. Um, yes, and then a plain front just coming down there. And what I'll do. In a moment, I will just flip the camera around for you guys to see. Not the camera, sorry, <laughs> the mannequin. So again, it's just tied there. And this is where it's going to start looking a little bit messy. It's not hanging correctly on the mannequin. There, with a zipper. So I've done the left. There's a zipper inside, but again, it's it's not the neatest, and I had to do it twice, and it's left a little bit of marking now, unfortunately. And then you come down here, and then the darts here. I know they look they actually look really wonky. It's only because this mannequin is just not making the gown dress sit properly but I had to slightly angle them anyway just for them to sort of sit right but it still wasn't 100% I don't know I'm not sure what kind of went wrong but again it's it's a learning curve so I 
and then the lip zipper goes down and then this is where the fishtail starts and I used a really lovely slightly different minty green just to have the contrast there and this really light chiffon fabric I sort of pan down and then you can see there just fishtails out and again pretty self-explanatory but having a fish towel unfortunately I had to hold it up quite a bit and a couple of times it did get stood upon I just pause the camera and then I can zoom in so you can see the stitches okay I've just rested it on my leg so again I just on the hem of the chiffon I just double folded that and just did a single regular stitch length all the way around and it's held it's held really well considering okay so I have just flipped the dressed dress inside out for you guys so I used another satin for the lining and again if you've watched the journey of how I constructed the dress you know that the body says boning throughout so coming down the end of the darts and I wasn't entirely sure how to finish the sort of unsightly raw edges of the zipper so I used is it what they call the Hong Kong seam so that's that I've tried pressing this earlier and I've caught the dart there that's probably why it looked a little bit uneven on the outside it took forever I hand washed the dress a few days ago I'll get to why in a minute and it's taken forever to actually press this fabric and it's still not 100% but yeah you can see I've actually pressed the dart so yeah okay and then coming down on the seam here which holds the fish towel I wanted it as neat as I possibly could and I've used a very tight zigzag stitch to hold that and try to get a French seam to hold and encase the chiffon and it's held up really well and then down there and then I have done a very very narrow hem again flip that twice and just in a regular stitch length so that's that for the fishtail okay so back to the front so the interior so this nice white satin silky satin I didn't stitch I haven't folded that I actually left that free and also what I did the reason being is also to show you if you flip that up you think oh why can't that move so what I did along the boning so every boning point there's a couple of little stitches and a couple of stitches there and there and obviously all the way around so then that won't sort of move out of place at all yeah I just didn't want it to sort of shift around even if I know even with stitching that that will still have a little bit of movement so I wanted to stop that again that's just the front darts and just a regular plain front panel so yeah so that's that okay I'll flip the camera around and carry on yakking to you okay so again for anybody that hasn't watched the journey of me making the dress I use the Simplicity K1606 which is this one here and like I just said I just used the bodice part of the dress and self-drafted 
the skirt and just got an idea from a dress that I similarly purchased a while ago and I don't think I've actually now I it once and I tried it on and it's actually a little bit snug now but it had quite a plain front and it had a tiny little fishtail at the back but I just wanted to accentuate that and use the chiffon just to give it a little bit of contrast with the two fabrics and being chiffon it's light and it's flowy and just to add a little bit of elegance to the dress so yeah also I want to show you again the cape which I have here I'll hold it up for you so this is what I call my yeti cape because yeah I just look like a yeti and I got a little frog closure there and inside I used the same lining I used for it's not actually lining even though I used it as lining and for the dress so I used that for the cape and it's really fluffy and it's really soft and snuggly and to be fair it was actually really really warm and it was only when we came out sort of about 12.30 almost 1 that it was just a little bit chillier then so it did get warm then but not uh, doing the evening at all and not going to the event so yeah and so I only got one for about 15 20 minutes not long so yeah pretty straightforward again if you guys have seen I use the simplicity now I'm trying to remember that first number I think it was 7544 so it's a vintage pattern and I used the green one there I traced off the pattern and I made a slight little alteration I did not use that collar there like they've depicted I completely omitted that and although that looks quite drapey on the lady maybe it's because of the fabric that they suggest I don't think they would have suggested something like this I folded in so along this side it would actually come out much wider and I'm thinking it's wide enough as it is and it it drapes enough and it's a mid-weight sort of fluff, synthetic, and yeah, I didn't want still that to be that much bigger, and because I'm quite broad-shouldered anyway, I didn't want it sticking out, otherwise I would look like sort of an American f footballer. But yeah, so this was a success, and I've always wanted a little fluffy cape, so I have one now, forever, that I can use for any upcoming event that may I don't know that may come up in my lifetime I don't know hopefully there's a few more because I think as sewists we like to get together and make really nice events so yeah so that's that with the cape and I will I will show you the menu because I kept the menu and I have a chatter about that okay so I have the menu here and that's the Reverse, I had the mushroom stroganoff. Yes, absolutely love, 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 love mushrooms. But there was cocovan, there was beef lasagna, mixed vegetables, fish summer salad, and um, vegetarian pasta. And the dessert was a chocolate truffle. I didn't have any dessert. And cheese and crackers. And again, there was a bar there if anyone wanted to drink alcohol, there was water and orange juice and things like that and obviously that was all free and that was sort of tucked up through the evening on the table also I'll show you guys my, a little bit worn, I have had them so many years but these are the shoes that I wore, the little peep toes the heel is about two inches, two and a half inches and yeah my sparkly shoes but where they've been stored you can see look some of the sparkle is coming off but I don't want to get rid of them unless they absolutely fall apart but I'm sure I could take them to a place where they can be mended perhaps where possible 
yeah but again they're only occasional shows so hopefully they last a lifetime also i had my little pocketbook or purse so just a regular clip purse that's the inside i have made this and it has a chain and yeah pretty self explanatory hang on sometimes the chain gets a bit there we go just clips and this really lovely overlace fabric which goes over the cardan and i don't know if you can see yeah that's a little bit better there the little sort of sewing depiction scene and then hand stitched a couple of these little sequins on yeah so that was nice just to that was the first time i actually took that to an event it's just usually just been sat kind of idle doing nothing anyway so the event itself was really really lovely they had a live band i think it was the students from the lister university again correct me if i'm wrong about that but i believe that's what people have been saying and yeah really lovely music and lots of fun so lots of ladies were dancing and everything and yeah it like i said it just flew by to be fair so but that is the evening of the dressmakers bar and the next day sorry the next day before traveling off all sort of separating and everything a lot of us actually i don't know i think we just flocked on to the crafty so and so because they actually have a bricks and mortar store so it was really lovely to catch up with everybody there and a couple of people i did not see of the evening and yeah we swapped the tails and everything and it's it's really lovely to keep in contact so it being of course a crafty and fabric you know sometimes you just can't help having these little accidental purchases can you so i will show you what i purchased at crafty so and so okay so i'll start with the not so interesting which is two different elastics so just a white and black and one is half inch whilst the other i think is two inch which i needed because i thought i had that size elastic in my um collection but didn't so that needed to go in the top that i've almost finished which i'll show you show you next week so this is the fabric oh, i was very very good i only got two so this is sort of a rust perhaps brick color or terracotta it, it, it depends 100 percent cardan i think i got just one meter which is here and i was just thinking of making just some summer pants or collapse so but again unusual color and i kind of like to experiment with different colors yeah then the other one i got two meters or two yards if you like of this absolutely gorgeous mustard and it is yeah it is white flowers i think it was a viscose i think pretty sure it was a viscose so a lady that came up to me who i didn't get a chance to chat to at the actual bar so we ended up chattering in these crafty so-and-so store and the coat that she had on the lining was this and it was so beautiful and i couldn't believe it. it they had some in the store so of course why not you know which was nice yeah and what can you do when you see something really lovely you've got to get it there and then because otherwise you go back and it'll be like it's gone so yeah so that was the small little purchase from crafty so and so so jim and i obviously spent all the morning together and we both, you know, we both went to the crafty so-and-so store, had a look around Lister City. Oh, it's just like a rabbit warren. I just got a little bit, oh, anxious. Uh, bless Gemma. And again, thank you so much. She's an absolute star. 
she she's just got her head screwed on correctly when I don't. Anyway, we wanted to look in the Lister market because we were running a little bit out of time because she was um, catching up with a friend that she spent a few days with. And again, I'm sure she'll talk about that on her vlog if she so wishes true. So again, we stumbled across fabric, didn't we? This guy had quite a reasonably sized stall with lots and lots of fabric and I found two. So first is an embroidery on glaze and it's green and it's quite an earthy green. I hope the the tailing now is coming up. Yeah, catch the light. All right. And I got I got a yard of this, and it's got even though it's sort of a midweight, it's actually got a good drape to it. So I'm thinking a summery shirt, but I want a tie front shirt, but not a tie around the neck, a tie around the waist. Slight little nod to the 50s. Then, guess what I found? I couldn't believe it. It's not exactly what I've got in my mind, but you know I was looking for some wolf fabric for my teenage earthling. Well, this was the first thing my eye caught, and it's panels. I'll open it out, and they're all identical, so it's not ideal. But this is, this is one of the panels. So you can imagine that on the back of a shirt, but like I said, the only downside to this is it's, it's panel, so they're all exactly the same. So I'm thinking a couple of cushions, so there's only one, two, three, four, so there's eight of these guys. And yeah, so two cushions. I'm thinking, I don't know if that would go. Yeah, so even if you put it on the front of the shirt, you're going to cut. That's definitely going to have to be a feature on the back. I don't know. Or maybe I'll do something. I don't know if I'll make him a cover for the bed. That will work out. But it it's the first thing I've sort of seen. It's very grown up. It's a little bit, a little bit scary, but... Um, well, not scary, but you know what I mean. It, it, it's quite, yeah, a bit of a statement, isn't it? So, but he's growing up, so he's at that age. But I've got this idea in my head of fabric, and I know the lovely Nancy's keeping her eye out for me. Bless her. Thank you so much, Nancy. If you do, please let me know. Um, yeah, I've just got this, you've got the vision of like the big moon, and then sort of side on of the wolf howling with sort of you know his, his mouth open howling that's kind of the image that i want to sort of find on fabric but not as huge as this because obviously you've got to bear in mind when you're making a man's shirt obviously the front pieces are two pieces but you need enough that the image of what it is that you have in your mind is big enough but not too big scale like this where you, you if you cut it, it it's gonna not going to work but it's great on the back because obviously on a man's shirt there's enough fabric so a, a big bold image of a wolf or, or whatever the image is that you want on a print on fabric so yeah so that is all my purchases regarding fabric so it was only four fabrics and two elastics I think I did really really well okay so almost finished rabbiting to you guys and obviously you've seen in my previous video and the one previous to that one me prancing around <laughs> looking like an idiot trying to be an elegant lady seriously if you knew what went into that and obviously as you guys know I, I got a few physical things going on in the pain and everything but I persevered it was a struggle and it, it took longer but it's hard when something takes longer because you want it to sort of end and, and get done you know, and it's long and drawn out, but seriously, glamorous, not. So the setting was absolutely exquisite. I mean, I couldn't have found a better little place and the sun was shining it, and it made like the river glistening. It was just, yeah, really, really natural and, and, and everything. But seriously, where it had been raining and the grass that I was walking on was like really sodden and wet, 
and yeah I had my <laughs> silver shoes on so the heels were sinking into the grass and kept slipping off as I walked try to hide that as best as I can so obviously lots of retakes and then there was people and there was dogs barking and there's baby lambs in the field just adjacent to where the water and the little river stream no river stream I don't know I don't know what you call it yeah it's small river and yeah people staring and I was just like oh my god I just yeah this anxiety and no dressing room no so I had to you know change in the car and my teenage athlete bless him you know I just tell him kind of you know the idea in my head and I, I think he's going to be he's going to be quite a clever photographer but yeah I was standing on my fishtail and it got really really muddy and yeah glamour goes out the window seriously and obviously the pet dress that you saw so again there just really really muddy so yeah both the dresses had to I mean I know the pet dress isn't technically a dress I did it so it could become a top separately from the skirt but you put the two together and it becomes a dress so yeah really muddy even though it was beautiful and glistening of sunshine and yeah, my shoes making my feet a little bit sore because like going into the squishy soil on the grass and yeah, people staring and then children riding up and down on their bikes and then people driving past and staring and then there was this lady on her cell phone, so she wait for that a bunch of time then there was this lady on a, uh, like a little motorbike and I didn't realise she was actually waiting for my teenage athlete to stop taking photographs of, of me. I thought she was just waiting for something. Yeah, yeah, me. <laughs> so, and I was like, oh, oh, I apologised profusely. I was like, I'm so sorry. I was just so, like, zoned in to what I was doing. But, yeah, but because people were sort of waiting and, and standing, sort of just watching the world go by you don't know if that's what they're doing just standing there chattering looking at the baby lambs and the water and everything else or was it that they were actually standing there waiting for me no it was just the lady on her bike that was waiting everybody else was enjoying the view but see this <laughs> silly woman like dressed up but you've got to find these pretty places to get those photographs and you know you you know guys that I really love nature so I wanted to find somewhere that was what I thought quiet it was quiet and then it's just the way it goes isn't it um everybody seems to just come out and noises and yeah so retake and retake and I, I was I was just absolutely exhausted but I got the photographs that I wanted and the film footage and then my teenager thing and I were looking for the music and everything so yeah so it came together really well but I don't want to do that again in a hurry. So, right, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. And again, like I said, welcome to all the new subscribers. Hopefully I will do my best to put everybody's links below that I've talked about or you've seen in the stills. And yeah, have a fantastic week. I'm not sure if I'm going to... No, so it'll be next Sunday. But again, check back because you never know. I might put a midweek video up. I have almost finished a make, so I've got something to show you guys next week. Also, I was thinking of maybe showing you guys my patterns in my pattern collection. So, modern patterns as well as lots of vintage patterns because I, I really like and I must get into showing up my vintage patterns. Again, Debbie from Saturday Sewing has just put her vlog up and oh she just looks absolutely exquisite her hair her, the elegance of her dress and her poise it just oh you really got to check check her laces video out and her vintage make it's just stunning i'm not going to spoil it i'm not going to say what it is you you, you get over there guys and, and you check out her videos this is absolutely fantastic but everybody is so there's there's so many people out there that have got their own take on everything that they do so you're all wonderful so thank you so much for watching 
And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you've not already subscribed, please subscribe. And yeah, so I see you guys on Sunday. Okay, take care, look after yourself and stitch up a storm. Morning everybody, it's about 7.30 in the morning and yeah, oh, I didn't sleep at all very well last night. Under this little uh, beret is uh, some sins, so I dare show you. What do you think that is? <laughs> I feel like, um, I don't know, an old laundry scrubber woman or something, so and just trimmed my bangs so i did grow them out for a little bit and yeah but just want to style my hair a little bit differently for this evening for the dressmakers ball yeah just getting everything ready having a break her having a nice cup of tea which i do have here in my little kitty mug so i i'm tell you guys what I'm wearing so just a thrifted cardigan and my little top with beds on and it's K6532 so it's this one if you remember and it's like watercolours it's really pretty it's like as if the birds have been painted on so yeah a little bit later on I'm going to be picking up Jimma so that's Jimma from A Girl So Geeky and yeah and then travel to Leicester because that's where the dressmakers ball is being held for, for those that didn't know that so yeah we're just going to carry on and have finished my brekker and sort everything out and catch you guys a little bit later on okay everybody so oh dear so i've just been rushing so i have a very very lovely lovely co-pilot with me today i look awful as well sorry guys and i have just collected a lovely lady from a destination we won't we won't disclose where <laughs> secret rendezvous so i'll pan across and this lady does not need any introduction because you know who she is so <laughs> Hello. Hello. it's Gemma. <laughs> and where are the cinderellas going today we are going to Leicester Yay! for the Chessmakers Ball! Absolutely! So we are going to have so much fun! We are so excited and we can't wait to see you all! Yay! Right, see you later! Bye! Let's see if I can get this in focus. This is our current view on the M1. We're on our way to Leicester. We've passed like literally a couple of fields of these now and it's absolutely amazing. They are massive. Big, big turbines. Oh and there's too many trees now. But yeah, there's been lots and lots of these which is really great to see. Yeah. Traffic is not too bad people, we're getting there. We're getting there. I really don't know what to say. We've actually made it. And it was like, going through Leicester is just a nightmare and I know it was and that's why I wanted my lovely gem next to me. She did amazingly, like we didn't go wrong at all. I don't know, now we've got to find out if we can actually use this parking lot because it's something to do with like casino, casino gambling. Hopefully they don't gamble off the cars, so yeah, but we're here! I am so 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 nervous, it was like <laughs> oh my goodness, but yes. We made it. We're here. We're here. I'm so in need of a cup of tea or maybe something stronger. Yeah, need to freshen up, you know, do yeah. do the regular. Do you like my sheep, everybody? I forgot to say about that. Not, I've twisted him round again, so his butt truck. Oh no, he's ping bag. Yeah, so, so I, I'm completely barking mad. It's just, it's been a funny journey and nerves just really get the bad of you. So now I'm just gonna rub it on like I usually do. <laughs> Anyway, catch you later. We'll get some Dutch courage. Yes, definitely. <laughs> thank you. See you. What am I saying thank you? <laughs> okay, so this is the room for the evening. I have been here approximately 
15-ish minutes in the actual room, so I just unpicked what I needed for this evening. Jimmer, thankfully, is in the room opposite, so I just turn you guys around, so pretty straightforward, really, very basic. There is my Yeti fluffy cape for this evening. I don't know, I don't think I'd need it. So, yeah, they're just... My purse and wallet, yeah, painkillers, camera. There's my sparkly shorts. Yeah, I look a little bit worse for wear. No, just straightforward. All the crap tonight. Just some jewellery for me to wear this evening. And I've always been organised, so you can't be without a showing book. And I bought the iron because, lucky I did, look how crumpled. My dress has become on the journey. I knew that it would. Hence why I bought the iron with me. Here I am. Yes, here I am. I had a little bit of tears earlier. It was just anxiety just kicking in really. But yeah. Anyway, so that's me. Look like a bit of a a scragging, don't I? So anyway, straightforward into the bathroom. Dunny sink I really don't know what I'm saying this because you can clearly see that it is so yeah just a, a regular room yeah so I'm just gonna sit for a minute and just have a much needed drink and then I guess I'll start getting ready okay so this is the lack of luxury here guys so I'll lay the towel out I have my iron and yeah so I'm going to press out the Creases in my dress, and hopefully, this little makeshift sort of area that you can see here will work. Yeah, I'm on my knees. Look, it's resorted to that on my knees. Hopefully, I get this done and then, yeah, carry on with that. Okay, so it is 5 30, and I think I better sort that lot out, hadn't I? And turn into some sort of Scary Goldilocks, yeah. And now I look like I have been electrocuted. I gotta do something with that mess, haven't I, guys? Okay, so I am beginning to start looking sort of half presentable. So yeah, it's not too bad. I wanted the hair to be a little bit more tighter ringlets, but the soft ones. They're okay, they will do. So, yeah, just gonna put some bleh on my face. And yeah, not far off being sort of ready. So, catch you in a bit. Okay, so I have the muck on my face and a little bit of jewellery. And now it's just time to get my green dress on. Jim has been in and out. Well, been in and out of each other's rooms anyway, borrowing bits and pieces. Like you do, so yeah. Oh, seriously, anxiety. Boing! It's just like that, and it's just like, mm. yeah, yeah. So I'm all ready. I've got no excuses now. Just put the ga uh, gown on, and yeah, off we go. Mm. Okay, so I have my gown on. I better hurry up because I said to Gemma that I would be knocking on her door in seven minutes. So. Yeah, just getting a little bit closer, peeing down, got my Yeti uh, cape and I got my sparkly shawls, you see those, there you go, yes and there's my fishtail at the back. Oh. Right, I am so nervous, so, 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 so nervous. Oh, and I have my little, my little pocket book that I made. You'll see. Yeah, okay, I better go, guys. See you later. Everybody, at the moment, we are in the lobby. We have the absolute gorgeous and stunning, beautiful... Oh, see, I forgot her names already. <laughs> Hayley Jane. <laughs> and of course, you know, we travelled up together. So this cheeky, naughty lady got me into trouble. 
Then we have the lovely Natalie and the lovely Harriet. And I'm behind the camera, thankfully. So. Are we going to have a fun night? Yes. Yes. Are we going to have a fun night? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Right. I will see you guys later on. And look who's just walked into the room. That lady just does not need any um, announcement. And there's Joel. Very, very naughty, misleading lady there. I don't know. Let's be playing around. I'm wearing a small heels as well. I'm too scared of this. And I will just pan generally of the room because look how beautiful all this architecture is. Isn't it lovely? And then people coming in. And it's like a buffet tonight and help yourself to food. Let me just pause because I need to twist around. I'm not an owl. It looks like we are going to have a band as well because you can see the instruments there. Just zoom in a little bit. And yeah, quite self-explanatory. I hope you guys can hear me okay. I don't know, the riffraff here. Back now, and it is about 12 30 am. Oh, yeah, it's been a long, long, long day, so I'm gonna be signing off now. So, night, night, everybody. Morning, everybody. It is 10 am. I have been up shortly before 7, 
Yeah, that was me saying it's about 12.30 a.m. last night. No, it was nearly 1 a.m. So I didn't go to sleep until probably just after 2 a.m. So yeah, not bad. Yeah, still got the uh, fluff poodle look this morning. So it's going to be fun sorting all that out later. Yeah, uh, like I said, just had Becca. It's going to catch up with a couple of others. And of course, we are going to a fabric store. So, where possible, I will take you along with me. Yeah, so, oh, thankfully I can speak. It was a little bit husky this morning, a little, tiny bit there, but yeah, it's okay. So, anyway, catch you later. Two guesses where Gemma and I are. Hmm. Fabric in Don Lewis. Look, fabric. Oh, lots of goodies. Gosh, they've got quite a bit of fabric in this store. Mind you, it is a whole bunch bigger. And they got a wall of fabric here. Wow. Fabric, my lady? <laughs> wow, look. I wonder if she went to the bar last Make night. Make the most of your shopping with a partnership card available from John Lewis Finance. You can find out more about Ooh, the there we go, that's a bit spotty. That's cute. Lovely. Oh, it's got a little bit of a shimmer to that one. Look at the hedgehog fabric, that's cute. And they got some little foxes down there. Oh, look at this fabric here. Oh, look at the birdies. Nesting birds. I really like that one. Look at this one around here. That's pretty. Yeah, it's a shame the price is not pretty. Oh, look at that one underneath. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. That's 16 a meter. Wow. That's cute as well, the bunnies. Peter Rabbit. Uh, eat all. And there's Pooh. What's Winnie the Pooh's middle name? Does anybody know? Let me know in the comments if you know Winnie the Pooh's middle name. They have a whole bunch of fabrics in here. Little giraffes. Oh, that's cute. Bumblebees. Oh, I have that fabric. If you can hear click, 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 that's Gemma and her shoes clicking on the floor. Bumblebees there and zebras. Cool. All the other haberdashery bits and pieces and everything that you can see. So they've got quite a large range of everything in here, which is all good. They sell the elastic size that I was after. Hmm. Oh, these. They're really pretty. Oh, look at the kingfisher. Love that. And they've got wool and everything over there. So, yeah, they have a whole, whole array of craft bits and pieces and everything in here. Oh, that's good.
Look where we are, Crafty So and So, sewing store, fabric store. So, going inside in a minute to check these guys out. These are the ladies that hosted last night's Dressmakers Ball. Awesome. We're just coming inside, Crafty So and So. Oh, it's really pretty. Surprisingly well. There we go. Oh, I love this. Look at the sewing machine, it's gorgeous. And look at this. I love that. It's a little sewing box case. And this is where I look at the dragonflies. Oh, look, look at the flamingos. Aren't they awesome? Oh, ships are high, everybody. Oh, look at those. Little parrots. They're awesome. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. 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 Lovely. And they've got all the sewing machines there. Wow. These are a beast of machines. Goodness. Wow. This is lovely. Okay, so we have arrived at Nista Market. So it's a kind of indoor outdoor market that kind of sells anything and everything. And Gemma is up front, so yeah, it's the first time. I've been in here. Let's see what they have. Oh, I spy fabric. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, is that wool fabric down there? guys a whole bunch of fabrics absolutely everywhere some are similar to what you find in other fabric stores and apparently the guy was saying that they do their own printing as well so that's good to know so if anyone is in Leicester and they go to the market and they see the fabric store here yeah so really good they've got laces linens silk settings They've got some scubas and polyesters, cartons, everything, so which is really good. It's quite an array of different fabrics. 